In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to get your DAW, DAW or Digital Audio Workstation working with your new Antelope Audio interface. This time we're looking at Presonus Studio One, version 4, but the setup process is exactly the same for the new Studio One 5. This is not going to be a getting started with Studio One video, there are plenty of sites online that can help you with that. In this video, we're going to look at configuring your new interface, in this case the Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core, to work alongside Studio One. Then we're going to look at how to configure the Antelope Audio Control Panel software for basic single and multi-track recording. The first thing to do is to tell Studio One which interface we wish to use. The home screen of Studio One is the best and easiest place to make most of the settings and adjustments required when setting up a new interface. Click on the Setup icon, and set both playback and recording devices to Orion Studio 3. If it is not listed here, please refer back to the first videos in this series for help with installing and connecting your new interface. From the already open Preferences window, you can also set up the buffer size. A small buffer is better for tracking, while a larger buffer can be used when mixing. To this end, above a buffer of 32 samples, Studio One's zero latency monitoring mode is switched off. The sample rate is set by the interface or by the new session dialog. This is not adjustable here. The next important setting to check is the clock source. In a basic, single interface setup, always choose Oven. This is the name given to the internal clock of most Antelope Audio devices, with the exception of the discrete range where it's called Internal. In more complex setups where you have other external digital or analog gear being used, you may wish to change the master clock source. This is done from the control panel. However, it is essential that a solid clock source with a single clock master is provided. If you find you're getting clicks and pops in your audio, it is more than likely that there is a digital clocking issue that needs to be resolved, as these clicks and pops will make their way into your recordings. It's worth noting that in this tutorial, the interface is connected to the computer via Thunderbolt. Most of the Antelope Audio range of interfaces also offer USB connectivity. When connected via USB, the clock source icon will display USB. However, the unit will still be using the internal Antelope clocking system. Using the USB connection also locks the sample rate and clock source of the audio interface to that specified by the DAW. A Thunderbolt connection allows manual adjustment of both the sample rate and clock source in the control panel. However, until you're a little more experienced, we advise you let the DAW set these up for you. The next thing to check is that the I.O. and routing from your Antelope control panel matches the routing and labeling inside Studio One. Create or open an existing session. I'm going to create a new session from the band recording template. Now, on Mac OS, go to the Studio One menu, then to Preferences. On Windows, this will be under the Studio One menu, then Options. Go to the Audio Setup tab if it's not already open by default, then down to Song Setup. Here, we can create the crosspoint matrix for the incoming and outgoing audio. You can see that Studio One has recognized that the Orion Studio Synergy Core has both 32 inputs and 32 outputs. Now what we need to do is add 32 mono, 16 stereo, or a combination of the two inputs and outputs in Studio One to form a one-to-one -one matrix, meaning that input one on the Orion Studio control panel will directly match to input one of Studio One, and so on. By clicking Make Default, you will tell Studio One to use this configuration for every new song you create. Hit Apply and OK. We can now configure the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel with the input and output connection types we require. I'm going to show you how to route the 12 mic pre's from the Orion Studio to the first 12 channels of Studio One. Think of this as your first steps in configuring your interface. In the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel, select all 12 preamp nodes in the input section and drag them down to line up with Computer Record channels 1 through 12. Computer Record is another name for the DAW input in the Antelope routing matrix. Let's also make sure that Computer Play 1 and 2 is routed to our main monitor outputs and to our headphones. Think of Computer Play as the DAW output. This now means that anything set to record on channels 1 through 12 on Studio One will be recorded from the corresponding channels 1 through 12 on the interface. Also, anything routed to playback from channels 1 and 2 in Studio One will be routed to the main outputs and both headphone outputs on the Orion Studio Synergy Core. 